Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Stress and Pain Relief Podcast. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. If you'd like to support me, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. The link is on my website, as are over a thousand recordings where you which you can stream and download completely free. So all the latest recordings I upload and make available on there, as well as them being available wherever you listen to your podcasts. Now this particular exercise, if you want to call it that, is something that I started doing back in 2004 on myself. I had some chronic pain. Um, I can't remember where it was. It might have been, I think it was in my, in my knee. Yeah, I had some problems with my knee. And this is a technique that I discovered by accident. And it's not that it's my technique, but I just came across it and discovered it. And the title of this recording is going to be called Where Is It? Okay, Where Is It? So basically what we're going to do, we're going to search for that stress or that chronic pain. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to search for it. Which may sound a bit weird because you may just say, well, well, it's in my shoulder, isn't it? Uh. Yeah, but we're not in. We're not focusing on the generalized area. We want to be precise. We're gonna look, really look for it, and go deep, almost to the atomic level, looking for this pain, for this stress whichever it is you're looking for. In order to be able to hold it in our hands and say, there it is, or drop it on the table, say, that, that's it. So to start with, what we do is we, like always, you just, you know, like I said, you're gonna know where it is roughly, the part of your body that's where you think it is. Like the fact is, the pain comes, and the stress comes from the brain. You know, but we can forget that for now. Forget the fact that the actual pain isn't in your your body. The stress isn't actually in that part of your body. It's your brain. That produces it. The body part doesn't produce it. So this this whole network of um, fibers and neurological activity going on to create this physical sensation, which happens at the speed of light. You know, I don't know if it's that fast or quicker, but. It happens pretty darn quickly. But you know, if you bash your knee, your knee isn't causing the pain. Your brain is causing the pain in your knee because that's what it thinks is needed to protect your knee. Now stress is probably a different thing Stress is caused, again, by the brain, but it's still physical, as, as is pain. It's still, you still feel it physically. 
as well as emotionally. Which is why it's often very unpleasant. Because if it wasn't unpleasant, well, no one would be bothered, would they? You wouldn't be listening to this if stress was like wonderful. Although some stress can be really good, it can be fun. I used to work in sales and a degree of stress, I used to enjoy it actually. Being like um, very, very, very tightly wound up. There was times when I enjoyed that feeling. But ultimately, it wasn't good for me long term. And I experienced <laughs> the end result of that, which was highly unpleasant. So, when I had this knee, I still got the knee, but when I had this issue in my knee, I remember I was meditating and I thought, and that's part of the reason I had the pain in my knee because I was trying to sit on a cushion when my body was not flexible enough to do that. And I focused on the part of my knee that I felt was hurting me. And I thought, I'm going to go mining here. I'm going to go into the pain and search for it. Because ultimately, it's not in the part of the body, you know, it comes from the brain. So, okay, let's see if any of it is actually in that part of the body. And there was that idea that, you know, being in the eye of the storm, the safest place to be, right, almost in the middle of it, or if there was a, a major tidal surge or a huge storm, the safest place would be to be underwater at a certain distance from the, the you know, from the top. And it's calm. So it got me thinking, I wonder if the same applies for pain or for stress. There's all this hive of activity at the top, almost you know, like on top of the ocean. If you was to dig down, to travel downwards into that physical sensation, what result would you have from doing that? which is what we're going to discover together. My discovery on that day was actually if you keep saying the sentence, where is it? Whether it's stress that you're looking for or the pain chronic pain that you're looking for, where is it? And then keep searching for some more, keep digging down further. And when you think you've found it, you go into it and dig into it. And I guess you end up in the center, which is the safest place to be, the calmest place to be. And then you say, where is it? Again. 
And what I discovered is the more I said, where is it? The more and further I dug into that feeling in my mind, searching for the root, uh, the, you know, maybe the brain or something, the life of that particular physical discomfort. I wanted to find it so that I could work with it. And, you know, help myself. But every time I thought I'd found it, I'd get there, I'd dig deep. And it wasn't there. Where is it? Where is it? Is that question. So you've got that physical issue, whether it's stress or pain. And just, you know, before we start this, what level would you give it between 1 and 10? 10 being the, the highest, most, most discomfort, and 1 being, uh, yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing, nothing of importance. And just note, remember what number that was on the scale of 1 to 10. And now, focus on that general area where the physical discomfort seems to be. And now say to yourself, where is it? Where is it? Where is that feeling? Where is it? And whatever is presented to you, Whatever feeling, whatever you come across, start digging, start focusing more. So you're making that thing bigger and bigger and you're moving in. Almost as if you're looking through a microscope. You're starting to make everything more visible. Seeing things you didn't see before. Moving through particles maybe that you thought were solid, but they're not. Still searching, where is it? Where is it? Where's that feeling? Where is it? Where is it? And keep searching. Keep digging. Every time you think you found it, dig into that. Turn the micro microscope on and look even further into it. And every time you do that, you realize that you're actually moving through it. You're moving through something that doesn't 
even really seem to exist. But it's there, or it seems to be there. But where is it? Where's this feeling that used to be, you used to class it as being, you know, discomfort, painful, stressful, whatever it was. Where is it as you keep searching and digging deeper and deeper? Where is it? Where is it? You keep looking. You keep searching. You keep digging deeper. Travelling further within the feeling with the intention of finding the owner of that feeling. But you can't. Every time you go deeper, the feeling just seems to vanish. Focus again on that area and where you've travelled so far, how deeply you've travelled and keep travelling. Where is it? Where is it? Where's that feeling that you wanted to reduce or eliminate? Where is it? Where is it? Delve in deeper. Looking really looking for that feeling, that physical sensation, where is it? Where is it? Keep searching, keep looking. And what are you finding? Apart from nothing. Where is it? Keep looking, keep searching, keep mining into that feeling where you thought it would be. Where is it? And the feeling, apart from vanishing and seeming to just no longer be there at all, may 
may even have transformed into a feeling of calmness, relaxation. Where is it? Where is it? Keep searching. Keep digging. Where is it? It's not here, it's not there, but where is it? Remember what number it was on that scale from one to 10? What is it now? That brings us to the end of this recording. You can test this as often as you choose. Different feelings. Different parts of your body. Remember the words. Where is it? And search. Really search hard. Never being satisfied with the results you get. Always digging deeper. Always digging deeper. Where is it? Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.